Hi everyone and welcome to my place. If you are into celebrating like I am into celebrating, you will really love this design. It will be great for Christmas, it could be great for New Year celebrations. You could remove all the beautiful metallics, so you'll notice I've got the metallic on, I've got the metallic flowers. I love that these flowers have all started to come back into vogue because they really do shout celebration to me. So I want to show you how to make a really quick and easy design that you can take through into celebrations right throughout the year. Let me begin. I have this lovely silver urn here. I love it because it's nice and narrow and also it's nice and deep so it's going to be perfect for our base. I've got some lovely greens, I've got some branches. I'm using all artificial because I want to be able to put fresh flowers into this throughout the year and if you wanted to you could just use some just use fresh as opposed to the artificial okay starting off I have got some big branches I so love this kind of designing now they just need to stay there just for a minute they're going to move around but don't worry by the time we get all the elements into here we'll get it nice and vertical now the other thing that I've got here is these boughs of island and because they are a little bit short what I've done is I've just used a bamboo stake here and I've just cable tied the stems onto the bamboo so that I can get a bit of elevation and into the middle of my design here I'm just going to push this down into there like so and I've got a whole heap here too four, six, eight, ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few on one side. I, I honestly, I do love this type of designing. It's so quick and easy. And you don't have to be worrying, oh there you are. You don't have to worry about having it all neat and tidy because you can sort that out once you get all your elements in. So there you are. So now I've just got, I've got my sticks in, I've got my boughs of island in, and I've got some lovely green happening. I've also got some nice bits of artificial fern here. You could use fresh fern, you could use leaves, and also because the stem was so short, I've put that onto another piece of bamboo that can go onto there. And if you can't see me, it doesn't really matter. Now I've got three of these, so what I'm going to do is, whenever you're graced with um, something that's circular, that is continuous and even, and you've got three forms, just put them in with equal distance between each of your placements. So one can go into there, one can go to that side, and them with equal distance or thereabouts equal distance. We'll put another one into the back there and by doing putting the green in what you're doing is you're actually basically bringing the green down. You've got the green in the middle and you're bringing it down the sides of your container. Now into that because I've got a silver container I always like to bring, oh there you are, I always like to bring a little bit of the silver back down into my design. I've got two of these and because it's going to be Christmas we'll just put one into that side there and I'll bring one over the other side so that they're equally uh, balanced. So you'll see that this the silver here will reflect down back into the design. The next thing to go into there are these. I love these. Let me just show you these. These magnolias are absolutely beautiful. And I've just noticed that, you know, people say to me often, where do you get your ideas from, Esther? Well, pretty much what I do is I look at what the fashion designers are doing, and they usually are the leaders in what's happening in fashion and through into interior design. Now, if you don't have any of these, you can't find them, what I suggest that you do is to just get some artificial or some fresh and just mist them over with a little bit of gold and then what I've done because I couldn't help myself I've actually put a little line of glue down this down the center and I've just put a little bit of gold and silver glitter down there so that it would reflect back into my container now these I'm just going to push down into my design just so that and just make a collar of those around the exterior of my design it can go down into there. And the other thing that I've done is with all of my forms, they're all about the same length so that I don't have to worry about have I got it in the right place, have I got it in the wrong place, you know, is it the right height? 
So let's push that down into there. And I know I'm not really supposed to be doing big things, but every now and again, I just think that, you know, you just got to get a big thing into this. So those all around the sides, this one around the back here, and I will turn it around so that you can see where I'm going. And I've got one more of those, so I'm going to just bring that around to there. So I'm actually working back to front for you guys so that you can see where I'm going. But isn't this just easy, easy, easy designing? Now the next thing I want to put into there is I've got these beautiful anthuriums, which I absolutely love. You can use fresh ones and give those a spray with the pewter or the gold or the bronze, whatever you wanted to use. And these are just going to go, oops, in and around the side like so. And I will show you what it's looking like in a moment. Sometimes my big arrangements work and that sometimes they don't. So the other thing with putting in your anthuriums, just make sure that they are pointing down. And I've only got four of those, so I'll just put those around my design with equal distance between each one, like so, and then one around to here. Make sure the stem is straight. And the, the beauty of this type of design is you can now put some fresh forms into here or whatever you've got. So let me just turn this around here so that you can see where I've gone. There we have a quick and easy design for Christmas. How cool and easy is that for quick and easy designing to celebrate this Christmas. Happy Christmas everyone and I will see you all again another day. Thank you.